Philip is a member of the Lily family, Liliasi, along with the 14 other genera, and there are about 75 species. Tulip is a member of the lily family, Liliasi, along with other 14 genera, where it is almost closely related to Amana, Erothranium, and Kajia in the tribe of Liliai. There are about 75 species, and these are divided among four subgenera. The name Tulip is thought to be derived from a Persian word for turban, which it may have been thought to resemble by those who discovered it. Tulips were found originally in a band stretching from southern Europe to Central Asia, but since the 17th century have become widely naturalized and cultivated. In their natural state, they are adapted to steppes and mountainous areas with temperate climates. Growing wild over much of the Near East and Central Asia, tulips were cultivated in Constantinople as early as 1055. In the 15th century, Tulips were among the most prized flowers, becoming the symbol of Ottomans. While tulips had probably been cultivated in Persia from the 10th century, they did not come to the attention of the West until the 16th century, when Western diplomats to the Ottoman court observed and reported on them. They were rapidly introduced to Europe and become a frenzied commodity during the tulip mania. Tulips were frequently depicted in Dutch Golden Age paintings and have become associated with the Netherlands, the major producer for the world market ever since. In 17th century in Netherlands, during the time of tulip mania, an infection of tulip bulbs by the tulip breaking virus created variegated pattern in the tulip flowers that were much admired and valued. While truly broken tulips do not exist anymore, the closest available specimens today are part of the group known as Rembrandts. So named because Rembrandt painted some of the most admired bricks of his time. The tulips flowers are usually large and are actinomorphic or radially symmetric and hermaphrodite or contains andresium and male genusium characteristics generally erect or more rarely pendulous and are arranged more usually as a single terminal flower. Tulip stems have few leaves. Larger species tend to have multiple leaves. Plants typically have two to six leaves. Some species are up to twelve. The tulip's leaf is colline, borne on a stem, trapped shape with a waxy coating, and the leaves are alternate, diminishing in size the farther up the stems. These fleshy blades are often bluish green in color. The bulbs are truncated busily and elongated towards the apex. They are covered by a protective tonic or tunicate which can be glabrous or hairy inside. The great majority of tulips, both species and cultivars, have no discernible scent. But a few of both are scented to a degree and Anna Fivor describes T. hungarica as strongly scented. 
and among cultivars, some such as Monte Carlo and Brown Sugar are scented, and Cream Upstar is fragrant. Thank you for watching. See you again on my next video. Bye!